Hey guys, Mr. again for another video today, and we are back with another, and it has been a while, another uh, who will win the Stanley Cup. So, in this one, I plan on going with Tampa Bay uh, through this sim, because personally, that is uh, the team favorite. That is my favorite. That is who I have to win the Stanley Cup currently. Uh, if not Tampa, probably Nashville. Uh, I really think Nashville could win the Stanley Cup this year. They are tremendous in so many ways. Uh, but yeah, before I get into this, I just want to show you guys. Look at how even the uh, Pacific Division is. The lowest team overall is 88. Highest is also 90, but they're all so close in there. As for the Central, it's kind of poor. I mean, there's five good teams and then two bad teams in Chicago and Colorado. Uh, and then looking at the uh, Atlantic, like four or five good teams in Florida, Montreal, I guess, uh, Tampa, Toronto, and Boston. Um, how Boston is a lower rating than Florida and the same rating as Montreal makes no sense to me. But uh, yeah, that, it, that uh, half of the Atlantic division is quite rough. And as for the uh, Metro... I mean, it's a pretty even team, uh, pretty even division as well, minus the Rangers. So, anyways, uh, with that out of the way, I have to, just want to show you guys that quickly. We're going to go game style, 4 out of 4. That's all I need to do in there, of course. Advanced settings. Just, I always like turning retired jerseys off. I don't know, it's just a personal thing, I guess. Not that. Let's go turn injuries off. And then we will also turn the sliders all the way down. And uh, there we go. So once we turn these down, we'll start the season sim. Let me know, who do you guys think will win the Stanley Cup? Do you think Vegas will win the Stanley Cup this year? Imagine that. That would be absolutely craziness. And I would be so down for that because I think that would be one of the greatest sport stories of all time. Like, genuinely, the best expansion team ever goes on to win the Stanley Cup in their first year. I mean, really, if they make it anywhere past the second round, they are going to be, um, it's going to be an amazing story anyways. So, yeah, we'll have to see. But let's go in really quickly. We did get the roster update. So let's just look at the team. So the team is looking pretty damn good. Braden Point. I feel like he could turn into an absolute beast in franchise mode. 21 years old, medium top six, and he's an 84. Yeah, I think he's faster. He is so much faster than 87 speed. That is ridiculous. He's probably one of the fastest players on the team. He should at least be matched up with Johnson's speed. Kucherov, he's 92. Oh, Kucherov is a high franchise, man. Oh my god, he's so good. I love him so much. So, yeah, that'll be our top line. Second line of Miller, Johnson, and Point. Third line of Kalorn, um, Paquette, and Gord. Don't know how I feel about that. I think we'll just go with, actually, maybe Callahan. No, he's got really bad face-offs. Never mind. So I think that'll be our fourth line then. Uh, I am going to make our team better, because why the hell not? Actually, you know what? No, I'm not. Um, I'm just, actually, well, we'll do best lines, and we'll see what that creates for us. Apparently that's the best it wants, or it has for us. Conacher could go in. He's not quite as good. Uh, let's just see, though. I'm just curious. Is there anybody in the AHL that would want, uh, or that would be good enough to make the team? Dan Girardi, maybe? Eric Condra. I mean, other than that, not too much. Uh, let's go look at our defense, though. Obviously, Hedman and McDonough, Sergachev and Strahlman, Suster and Coburn. Coburn. Holy shit. That decor is good. Now, everybody says that Nashville, well, not everybody, but mainly everybody says that Nashville has the best decor. I think you guys have got to give a shout out to Tampa in that conversation. They have Hedman and McDonough, then Sergachev and Strahlman, and then Coburn and Suster, who would definitely be considered bottom pairs, but in this game, they're considered uh, uh, top fours. And then, obviously, the best goalie in the league right now, Andre Vasilevsky. Uh, scratched, yeah, I mean, we'll just keep our scratch the way it is. So, guys, 
that uh, that will be the team that we are running in through the season with. I'm sorry if you keep hearing like a beating noise. That is my freaking dryer, and why the door is open right now, I do not know. But let's go and send the season. We lost the first game of the season. My God. Uh, now, like I said, my pick to win is Tampa. Let me know, guys. Please tell me who was your favorite to win the Stanley Cup. Anaheim, honestly, they are looking pretty good. I feel like they could definitely go on a run or on another run this season if they really get to it. LA, uh, I'd love to see LA get back into that uh, title contention. I would say I think he's, I think not he, I think LA is a great team, and they could most definitely do so. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean teams that more than likely will make the playoffs this year uh, that really probably probably wouldn't really have expected to. Uh, New Jersey. Um, yeah, I mean, Taylor Hall's on a 23-point streak, and I believe I got a notification about it the other night on NHL. I believe that is, he's like one of only three or four players ever to go on a 23-point plus uh, streak. It was either three or four, or like 30 or 40. I'm pretty sure it was three or four, which uh, is absolutely unreal how he is that good. Uh, I don't know how he has been such an absolute beast this season. I do not know how New Jersey um, doesn't make the playoffs this season. I don't know. Like, they've got so many good pieces to their team. They have Hall. They have his year, obviously the first overall pick last year. Um, they also have uh, Johansson. They have Butcher this season. He's been a beast. Vatnin, um, Severson, obviously can't forget Corey Schneider as well. Like, it's it's been quite something for New Jersey, and I mean, if they do make the playoffs right now, I believe they are in a wild card spot. If they do make the playoffs, uh, it would be very interesting to see. I think it would be an absolutely wonderful uh, se season for them if they can accomplish making the playoffs this season. They actually have a better record than us right now, so interesting to see. But like I said, they're a good team. And honestly, I think they have an under underrated uh, defensive core as well because it is pretty damn good, if you ask me. Um, but, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. We're on a four-game losing streak. Never mind, we broke that against Buffalo. So, uh, yeah, I don't think we'll finish first in the league like uh, most people expect Tampa to, although imagine if Vegas does. I would love to see that, to be honest. That would be crazy. Uh, Tampa, are we going to hit 50 wins? We do. We just barely hit 50 wins, and we will obviously make the playoffs in this sim. Uh, let's see uh, who we will start off in the playoffs against. If uh, There we go. Oh, we're up against Toronto. Uh, how I'd love to see this so much. I really do want to. Boston actually finished first in our division. Interesting. Ah, that's interesting. Didn't expect that, that's for sure. Stamkos with the most points on the team at 84. I'll check those out after. So Boston, at Tampa, Toronto. That's the order it has went uh, in this season. Detroit finished last, as it probably should, really. Uh, Metro, though, five teams made it. Oh, wow, surprisingly enough. Uh, Washington was the worst team. Well, actually, no, technically, yeah, they were the worst team to make the playoffs uh, in the East. That's for sure, at least. I mean, 44, 34, and 4, but they have one more, uh, or one less regulation and overtime win compared to Columbus, who you would think it would do better than that as well, but no, uh, the Islanders made it. Wow, and right now in real life, the Flyers are first in the Metro, which is, cr uh, no, sorry, they're second in the Metro. Um, um, Washington is first in the Metro. I just checked this before making the video. Checking the Central St. Louis finish first, which, I mean, I think it could happen. Um, do I think it will happen, though? No, because uh, they aren't even in a playoff spot right now. I mean, it could happen. Like I said, Winnipeg did not make the playoffs. They finished last in their division. I highly doubt that would happen. And then uh, looking... In uh, the Pacific, I still think Vegas is only listed as an 88 overall team. I think they should be a higher overall team than that. They're just so good right now, man. It's absolutely unreal. 
Um, all right, boys. Uh, I guess that's it. Let's go check the entire league, though, just to see. Boston won the President's Trophy. Wow, interesting. That's that's funny. Uh, last time Boston won the President's Trophy, they lost in what was it? Was it the finals? Yeah, they lost to the in the finals against Chicago, was it not? In 2013, and I'm pretty sure they had Kessel and Yager in that playoff run too. Maybe I'm not too sure. Don't remember to be honest. But let's go through the playoffs. Game number one against Toronto, we beat. Uh, as much as I do like Tampa, not liking uh, seeing those losses for Toronto. And we're down three nothing. Or we're sorry. Well, I say we're down three nothing in the series because I am a Leafs fan. But yeah, we got swept. Ah, fuck, we swept. Yeah, we didn't get swept. We swept the Maple Leafs in the first round, so not too bad. Washington now in the second round, they are four and one. So look at them go. We are five and zero oh right now. Six and zero. Oh. <laughs> Come on, can we keep the streak going? No, we cannot. It took seven games for a team to hand us a L. And we just got two in a row as well. Three in a row. Will we get eliminated by the Capitals? And Ovi is motivated. He's finally made it to the conference final, getting past Tampa. Didn't have to play Pittsburgh. Actually, they did have to play Pittsburgh, didn't they? I'm pretty sure that... No, did they? No, did they play Pittsburgh? Maybe. I want to say they played Pittsburgh in the first round, but no, I think Washington actually faced Boston in the first round. Pittsburgh, I think, played whoever was in fourth in the Metro. Because uh, Washington... All right, it was Columbus. Uh, so Washington finished fifth, which means they should go up against Boston, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see who won the Stanley Cup. Uh, those two sh series were short. The Oilers won the Stanley Cup. Don't think that will happen. <laughs> They are really far out of the playoffs right now, but sure. I mean, obviously anything can happen, so yeah. I, I was this, See, this is the problem with this. I was really tempted to just pick the 16 teams that would make the playoffs right now and do this, but I don't really think that's fair to the other teams that are just outside of the playoffs uh, after the deadline. But anyways, let's take a look at the team. Kucherov didn't get point per game. I highly doubt that would happen. Um, Kucherov, well, he uh, Kucherov actually is already point per game right now. He has 82 points. So if he doesn't play for the rest of the season, he will finish a uh, point per game player, which is just crazy. He's like 20 points over point per, or roughly around the 20 point area above point per game, which is just crazy to me. Andre Palat on that top line with 70 points, very good. Braden Point with 55. What a beast. Uh, Johnson with 53, Miller with 50, so we had uh, six 50-point uh, scores this season. Hedman with only 44 points. I think Hedman should be more of an offensive defenseman in this game. I mean, obviously, he should be a two-way defender like he is listed as, but I think he should have so much more of an upside to his offense because he is so good offensively in the NHL. He's In the past couple of years, he's always been in the Norris conversation so, uh, yeah, after Hedman, though, it kind of really drops. Yanni Gord has, like, almost 29 goals right now in the real uh, season, so I feel like he'll have uh, a better season than that. I believe he has, like, 21 or 22 goals, I want to say. Um, so, yeah, let's just check out the team. Most goals on the team went to Kucherov. Most assists went to Palat. Best plus minus went to Hedman with a plus 30. Let's go see Vasilevsky. Uh, not too bad. That, that was a really good stats from Vasilevsky. Those are actually currently better, uh, or those are better stats than what he currently has in the NHL right now. Let's go check out the entire league, though. We'll sort by minimum games of 40. There we go. Best save percentage went to Tuka Rask. Um, it'll probably go to Bobrovsky. Bobrovsky probably will win the Vesna, although I think... Bobrovsky, if he continues to play like he did at the start of the season, because he was playing absolutely out of his mind at the start of the season, I think he can most definitely uh, win the Vesna again. Uh, it's obviously a possibility. Let's go check defense now. Most points went to Burns. He will more than likely win the Norris, I would say, too. He was tied for the most points, but he had the most goals, and he had the highest plus-minus most goals as a defenseman did go to Burns. He was the only 20-goal scorer. He was also tied for the highest plus-minus in, uh, or for defensemen at least, maybe not in the league. 
Let's go. Oh my god, if Genny Malkin had 99 points this season with 48 goals. So, wow, Derek Brassard had 80 points this season. Holy shit. Who was he playing with uh, in Pittsburgh? Oh, my God. Jesus. All right. Okay, cool. So there was actually only uh, six point-per-game players this season, which is really odd to me. Tarasenko with the most goals in the league, which won't happen. Uh, I mean, it's, it could happen. He's only at, like, 26 or 27 right now, and he is... La, like a 10 or 11 at least away from Malkin who is leading the goal scorer uh, no Ovi is it Ovi or Malkin's one of the two I don't know it's a Russian I know that <laughs> um but yeah most assists as a forward went to Backstrom then Schwartz and then Shifley they all had 60 plus assists uh, best plus minus went to Malkin with a 42 and Shiri with a then or then Shiri with a 40 then Brassard with a 38. Point actually had a good uh, plus minus this season with plus 30. Now, I'm going to say that's their line, maybe. They've got Malkin, Shiri, and Brassard, which is just ridiculous. 48 goals for Malkin. I can't get over that. Absolutely unreal. I didn't check the rookies, but we'll go see the who did the best this season. So the Oilers won the Cup. Boston won the Presidents. Uh, the, uh, or it was the Oilers versus the Caps in the Finals. Wow, Malkin with the Art Ross and with the Hart, the Norris went to Burns for the second year in a row. Tarasenko with the Lady Bing, Hishir with the Calder, nice, interesting. Talbot with the Con Smythe, Bobrovsky with the Vesna, Rask and Kadobin split the Jennings, Edmondson with the Masterton, Spurgeon with the Selkie, Malkin with the Ted Lindsay, and Tarasenko with I think his first Maurice Richard, maybe. Is that a pos? I think that might be true. I'm not too sure. I only really started watching hockey uh, during the playoffs last season. So, yeah, I really don't know about that. But, yeah, Edmonton made it to... Or, not sorry, Edmonton. Um, at Nashville, they made it to the conference finals again. Pittsburgh also made it to the conference finals again. But the Caps got by them in seven games. See, Ovi doesn't have to meet them in the second round. They can meet them in the third round and they're gone oh man anyways guys that'll be it from me please again let me or please let again let me know who you guys think will win the stanley cup do you, who do you think made the biggest splash at the deadline um yeah i mean that's it from me guys once again thank you all so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one goodbye